they who store up violence and store up wealth in their strongholds and put them in their palaces on the top of the hills, but they don't know how to do right. He says, uh, 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 and, 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 when he, and he puts uh, in that one sentence, you got a whole book. Uh, when, when you know that you live in a world with people who have great wealth, have great uh, abilities, right. and yet they don't know how to do right. Yeah. Uh, it's a, uh, uh, and and uh, if they just knew how to do right, everything would be all right. Uh, <laughs> Uh, uh, you, you know when you when you uh, think of what it could be, the prophet is really thinking about what it could be, what it should be. You see, this prophet uh, uh, Amos uh, was a sheep herder. Uh, he, he really didn't have the great education and background of, uh, of Ezekiel and some of the other prophets, so they call him a minor prophet. But you see, he had been watching sheep. He was a sheep herder. But what he found out is that the sheep are the same as the people in the city. Come on. So that when people called, when God called him to come preach, it was because he had seen in the sheep what was happening uh, in the city. All right. and, uh, uh, and, and he knew when the when the sheep weren't doing right. Yeah. And uh, because uh, you think of them as mild and calm and as intelligent and, and a setter. But what he found was that the sheep would break down any barrier, the big sheep would break down the barrier so they could take what the little sheep had. Uh, is that uh, uh, they were big sheep and they were in charge. Yeah. But they weren't in charge for the right reason. All right now. They were in charge because they had rewritten the rules. They had found ways to break down the fences, right? Yeah. So that it would serve them, but it wouldn't serve the people that the divisions were made for. Uh, uh, we have some of that. Uh, in fact, uh, let me give you an idea uh, that we are now in a world where the lawyers are so changing the rules of the game that what was meant to protect people has taken their wealth away from them. We see ourselves in a situation now where the, uh, uh, where when you do get a good man to to be the president over it all, they rise up to try to destroy. Yeah. 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 He is going to rewrite the rules so they can't steal anymore. what should be intelligent people working for the people, That's right? right? Yeah. They find themselves working only for themselves. Yeah. Yeah. Amos oh. says they store up violence yes. Yes. and they store up a wealth yeah. Yeah. Of living on the top of the hill. Yeah. Yeah. He says they store up so much wealth that they don't want buildings just made out of brick and wood yeah. and stone. They want they want them made out of ivory. Uh, uh, is that they want to show off their wealth instead of showing off their goodness. In fact, one of them was heard to say, and the rest of them smiled. The one was heard to say that, that uh, you win if you die have controlling the greatest number of toys the greatest amount of money, when you are the ones that they praise because you are wealthy even at your death, but they never praise you because you've done anything for people. That's right. Uh, uh, they, they don't praise you because you praise God. 
they praise you because you didn't care what God thought and what Amen. God thought. They praised you because you could rip people off yeah. rather than build people up. Yeah. It's, it's, it's that kind of world that Amos was talking about. He says there's something wrong. He says they don't know how to do right. So says no matter what they got, they don't know how to do right. So it doesn't matter that they're wealthy. It doesn't matter that they have great armor because they don't know how to do right. They knew how to do right, they wouldn't even have the armies, they would use the wealth to change things. Yeah. Uh, I, I, was in, uh, uh, I, I, I was I was in one of the African countries and met the president, and uh, he said, Yes, I have an army. He says, but my army is enough out to kill people. My army is out to help the farmers build better farms. My army is out to help them bring in the crops. My army, he says, I have an army. They have uniforms on, but they're to serve the people rather than kill the people. And those who know how to do that. That's right. The problem is he is only one man in one nation, but about 147 or so nations think that they've got to have an army to kill folk. Come on. And, and you have a great difference in, in what you think about it, how you see it. Is that, is that the, uh, what the Amos the prophet is saying, the world starts when you know how to do right. If you don't know how to do right, you will destroy what should have been used for good. Yeah. And this is the you know, uh, 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 now uh, what they do is change one rule, uh, uh, and we pay for it for the rest of our lives. Yeah. Uh, there's, there's a mutual saving and loan. Now, we've forgotten about this, but 30 years ago, Mutual savings and loan uh, uh, in Kansas uh, was on trial. But it was new, really mutual saving and loan all over the country. Right. People had put their money into mutual savings and loans because they had trusted because of the law. Right. But what they had done is gone behind and changed the law yes. so that they could make loans to their own uh, 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 their own officers, make loans to their own board members. Yes. And when they finished, they had given millions out to who? Not to the people they were supposed to go to, but to their own officers. Uh, uh, millions of dollars out to their own board members. Uh, and, and, uh, and then they went broke. They knew they were going to go broke. But they went broke on somebody else's money. And they ended up building houses on the hill. They, um, they ended up having wealth for their children, a good education for their children, but not for anybody else's children. And the savings of people uh, uh, that, uh, that they intended to have a good life with uh, was on the board. It was gone. It was all over. You've seen it happening around you. You will see more of it if you don't keep the president we got that's willing to fight that. We can get rid of those who are only concerned about themselves if we, in fact, are willing to stand up and fight. You know, it's interesting uh, that wherever you go, uh, whatever part of history you go, the great prophets are the same. Yeah. Right? Is that uh, uh, when you see an Amos talking in the 8th century, and you see a Martin Luther King uh, talking in the 20th century, yeah. they say the same thing because they got the same God. Yeah. <laughs> Right God, you're going to have the 
the right attitude. Yeah. 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 And you know, it's interesting that God gave us every Sunday right, to be able to get the rules right. Yeah. Yeah. So we can do right. Yeah. But those, those that we uh, so often elect for office, you know, it's a funny thing. Uh, here we got an Obama that they wanted to put down because he went to Sunday school every, 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 every Sunday. Because he took his family to his church every Sunday. Yeah. Uh, it's because he had a pastor that damned the United States because it deserved to be damned. <laughs> Wealth and power 
and the suffering of the people. Make the connect. A Martin King, a prophet in this age, made the connect between power and money and what happens at the end and the suffering of the people. And the prophets were sent to cut that connect up so that the people would not suffer. Those who are not concerned about people don't deserve to be alive.
depending on you and you were depending on your neighbor. Yes. And, uh, oh, oh, what a good word. Yes. It's that uh, when you know that the reason for your existence yes. is to help other people be the best person they can be. Is that uh, when we think about it, that's it. We know how to do good. Yes, yes. Let us do it yes. in spite of others yes. and demand of this world that it be a better world. Oh, yes. 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 Uh, 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 
And when my stepfather would come out and he'd get in the car and they'd talk real low, they didn't have to talk low because I didn't know anything anyway. And they couldn't hear him in the bank that he just left. But you see, they were suffering. Those that didn't know how to do right was taken from those that wanted to do right. Right now. So, remember I said, it doesn't stop with the money. My grandfather couldn't take it and started drinking too much. My father walked away from his family because he didn't know how to take care of them anymore. And so these two women, they didn't get frustrated. Both of them were church people. And they got a divorce so that they could leave Missouri and take me to Illinois out of a segregated environment to a non-segregated environment, out of cheap education into good education, yeah. so we could start over again. Killing you, 
didn't respect your life, didn't respect your family, didn't respect anything about you, so they would kill you quickly. He was really saying you have to be better than they are. racist. 
Jesus and a Christian at the same time.
is that what we realized was one thing, is that we were free enough people. Come on, Amen. Amen. All right. And we didn't care whether it's going to be history or not. Wow. We didn't care if anybody even remembered our names. That's what's, that's what's important. Were people free God? Could they live a decent life? Were they going to have a better chance? Were the children going to be able to live better? That's what we were concerned about. Still concerned about. Yeah.